All right, so I don't know how long I can save these up for, so we'll just do it right now. This is about to be the worst. Sorry for nothing. Ooh. Oh. Then these ones shouldn't happen at all. All right, gross. What's up, y'all? My name is Benny Savage, and welcome back to Savage Reacts. Today, we're reacting to more Sabaton. We got the song Fields of Verdun. So all you Sabaton fans that graced the comments of my Bismarck reaction, watch that, let me know that Sabaton is a Swedish power metal band. I would not have guessed the Swedish accent. I was right to have let that pass. And someone mentioned, you know, they're aware that their sound doesn't quite fit what would typically be considered power metal. For one, power metal usually has higher vocals, and the subject matter usually has something to do with fantasy, where Sabaton is rooted in non-historical fiction. Sabaton are like the historical storytellers of metal. Try saying historical storytellers five times fast. Fields of Verdun specifically is about the Battle of Verdun, which took place during 11 months out of 1916 in World War One, where it was basically the French holding off German advances. I'm gonna try and learn the history little by little as I'm going along with these Sabaton reactions because I do think that's fascinating and it's important to learn. First, we gotta learn how Fields of Verdun sounds. Here we go, Sabaton, Fields of Verdun. Nice. I didn't get the singer's name again, but his voice is as powerful as ever. I don't know why I was happiest to see the return of the camouflage pants. I'm assuming that's going to remain a consistent thing. Cool Leo. Let's go back a little bit. Okay, this doesn't really offer much opportunity to pause, so I'm just going to take it where I can get it. Okay, so something that was pointed out to me in the comments on my last video too, I made a good call that Sabaton never really chooses sides when they're making these historical songs. They're just telling it as it is and as it happened. I think it's cool though that in the video you can kind of tell who's on what side. The uniforms aren't really marked, but they're designed in a way where you can tell this seems more French, this seems more German. I like that. That's really cool. I appreciate that attention to detail and that aid in storytelling. So, let's let you continue with the story. Oh, and it's Fears of Redone. Of 
father and son fall one by one. I love that. I don't love the idea of it, but I love that lyric. It really expresses the tragedy of that of World War One. I. I remember reading uh, all along the Western Front, and it talked a lot about how these like young, young people, sixteen year olds, they would fake their age so that they could enlist in the war, because war was something that was so glorified. So you literally had father and son dying on the field. I think we're about to get into a solo. Let's hear it. Yeah, bring it down. Fields of execution, turn to waste land from the grass. Thou shalt go no further, it was said they shall not pass. Damn, this voice is crazy. Okay, oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, I didn't know there was more solo after that. I apologize for pausing right there. But he did something really cool in the beginning of that. It was a lot more styled in, it's like that Wagner-esque classical style. I'm, I'm not sure exactly what period that would be. The reason it's cool is because that's something that uh, was heavily listened to during that time, especially by the Germans. Let's keep it rolling. I, again, sorry for pausing right in the middle of sweet spot of the solo. Let's hear that whole thing again. I also really appreciate all the sound effects that are added into this music video. Ooh, The Battle of Verdun lasted 303 days and was the longest active battle in history. God damn. It was one of the bloodiest battles of the Great War with over 700,000 casualties. Just tragic. Here we go. I actually appreciate that they stamp the end of each music video with these. The battle became a strong symbol for French resistance along with the words on it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't. <laughs> Is there a translation? Let's see. On ne passe pause. I'm sorry, y'all. They shall now pass. And there you have it. Mark. Ooh, that was a nasty clap. Nasty clap, that's another punk band name. All right, cool, so that was Sabaton, Fields of Verdun. Honestly, now that I've seen kind of the shared motifs that were in the Bismarck and the and this video, I can kind of see what Sabaton is going for as a band. I can kind of see what they're trying to do as far as teaching history to everybody and you know trying to keep their audiences informed while also entertaining. I think it's super cool and I can totally get behind it. Fields of Verdun is an amazing song. It has such an awesome energy, I just want to charge into battle with it. I think that may be missing the point because Sabaton probably doesn't glorify battle <laughs> when they're talking about it. But it's metal. Can't help it. Get pumped up. The chorus was super catchy and that periodic solo was really cool. I'm into it. Thank you for guys for this request. And that's all I got for you today, guys. If you want to keep up with me, follow my socials up above and listen to my music on Spotify, please! Leave a comment down below as to what I should react to next. Subscribe if you want, like it if you did, and I'll see you guys later.